um, a duo actually uh, to present the first show um, talking about diverse fashion. So we have with us uh, Salish Singhania, Sayantan Sarkar, and Ruchi Tripathi and Jaya Bhatt from the label Indigene. Uh, lovely to see your presentation. It was really a fresh take um, on what fashion is, sustainable fashion especially. So um, I'd like to take the opportunity to have each of the designers talk about their presentation and the collection that we just saw. So could I have uh, the Indigene team talk about it first? Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Ruchi. And, uh, I'm Jaya. Jaya. So uh, Indigene uh, is, stands for conscious clothing, and uh, this particular collection was also basically continuing our effort towards conscious uh, clothing. Uh, we worked on the Japanese philosophy of preserving old textiles and clothes. Uh, hence, we name it something old, something new. So we have we are using a lot of our old fabric scraps into making garments. There's a lot of patchworking, uh, texturing that happens through Sujini hand embroidery, and uh, that's the basic basic idea of just improvising on something that you already have and preserve it uh, so that it can stay with you for many num uh, number of years. Uh, we work with uh, uh, handmade textiles, and uh, that's what we've been show we've showcased at the range. Thank you. Uh, it really is a complete and optimal use of you know uh, fabric waste. When you see it, it looks so beautiful. Uh, so it's it's a it was a beautiful show all in all. Uh, Sayantan, I'd like to take ha have you speak about uh, your show. I believe it was inspired by Greek mythology. If you could let us know a little, let us know a little bit it's, more. It's uh, hi to everybody. This is Shayantan. Uh, this collection is inspired from military uh, wear, but it's called Children to War. And uh, Children to War doesn't mean we are talking about war as in uh, war. It's a war inside, basically. So uh, you see, with urbanization, we kind of change, and this constant fear of change is something that we have a conflict within ourselves. So this is uh, it's not like prim and proper military. It's rebellious. It's something which is not uh, regular. And uh, I have been working with handlooms for the last four seasons, probably. And uh, I've been trying to promote khadi, uh, which is obviously something very close to my heart. So this, uh, the reason I chose military is because we've tried to use khadi in suitings, like you know, taking heavier khadi and trying to make the yarns work better in uh, like more like denims. So uh, this was a uh, total idea behind the collection. I believe uh, I've achieved some, but more to go. Thank you. Uh, Salish, I would like to hear from you, especially because your collection was themed the winter rose. Yeah. So uh, what was the inspiration like when you were putting something like that together? Uh, the inspiration was like uh, Indian princesses, Gayatri Devi, Sita Devi, uh, Daru, Nizam. Yeah, these princesses, when they used to travel Paris, London, abroad, so they, there was a compulsion for them to wear a sari, 100%. So sari with the jackets and all would look more smarter. And people used to appreciate them like left and right. They used to say they look fab and when they're carrying saris in London, Paris. So the same theme was inspired me uh, for the show. And Radhika looks the part, like a complete yeah. modern-day princess. <laughs> uh, Radhika, if you thought I forgot about you, uh, it's not going to happen. I am, I am going to get to you because uh, we've seen you a lot during Lakme Fashion Week over the years, um, where you've been a showstopper, you've been a part of shows, you've been a guest. Uh, there's always an edgy appeal when it comes to the way you carry off the clothes, you know, you even support the designers. What was it like today walking the ramp? Because you look like a goddess completely. So I want to know from you, you know, how did you feel vivacious? Did you feel edgy? What, what were your thoughts? I always feel stressed <laughs> walking the ramp. <laughs> so, so, uh, so those whatever few minutes, I'm, I'm always stressed. But, uh, but he told me a story today about that because he said that it was pr uh, inspired by princes who traveled to Europe and got married to foreigners there. So I thought it was my story, just that I wasn't a princess. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I relate to that. I'm kidding. But uh, it's just that I think they have beautiful hand-woven handloom uh, fabrics, and I, uh, I don't, I don't own any, or I don't get the chance to wear any. So um, uh, also that. It's, it, it's a very tricky combination to do uh, Indian traditional wear with jackets and with European um, uh, clothing. So I was quite very curious, and I think he's pulled it pulled off so beautifully. His kirguts are really, really stunning. So I really wanted to. I'm very grateful that he 
uh, asked me to be the show stopper. Thank you to all of our designers. A beautiful start to day three. Could not be happier and excited about this. I'm just going to open the floor to questions from the media. Uh, could we have hear from the media, please? Sandra, I have a question to you. What inspired you to use Kavion jackets? Uh, the buttons we can see hello. stitched buttons. What inspired you? What was the inspiration? Yeah, I'm like, you know, when you talk about military, we talk about a lot of metallics. So I have <coughs> metallics, but then we are uh, we are primarily earthy people as a label shantan sarkar so our uh, buttons have to be slightly handmade obviously so there is al always a touch of something which is crafted khadi uh, we've used in many shows where it's flowy it's beautiful it's soft what if khadi actually becomes something like denim usage more suitings yes usage more we can develop a lot many possibilities with our own handlooms. It's just that we keep need, we need to keep exploring. So this is just part of an exploration. Probably next next is what you know the Samsung tag tagline. So I believe in that next is what. Thank you. Uh, Anish, can you take this? Thing out? Like these are roses with the jewelry motifs woven on it. Each rose is uh, you could see it's a perfect petals and the scallops with the leaves, it's woven perfectly. It's like scallops coming. We have added a small more liner here to add on the look of it. Plus, it's a rose border too. We have work, uh, been working for this, and it's a suede silk. The texture of the silk is very different with the rose border. So the, it goes with the theme very well. She is wearing a mushroom blouse. So we have clubbed three, four textures of the fabrics. Basically, we work with 22 different handwoven clusters where we develop uh, all sort of textures in silks and cottons with the weavers, giving them, supporting them for jacquards, supporting them for the jala designs, handwoven textures. So this idea was for the roses and clubbing three different areas of texture, like lehenga is a banasi, blouse is a mushroom from Ahmedabad, and again we have tried to club some gadwal work on it. I've never worn a cape before in my life, so this is the <laughs> first time. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's uh, growing on me. <laughs> we shall see if I play a superwoman, I probably. <laughs> yeah, why not? It, 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 yeah, I think it is. it keeps you warm. And it, it, it uh, also stops you from having people behind you pushing you in a queue. I'm kidding. I don't know what to say, but uh, yeah, I have, I've, never, I've never worn it. And uh, uh, actually, when we were doing trials, it was just a cape and it didn't have a jacket. And today, there was a jacket added to it. So it's, it's very new for me uh, to look at, to wear, to feel, uh, to carry. And I'm always uh, very curious to experiment with different things. So I'm, I'm very happy today because I, 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 it's so new, I feel very different. I needed a method actor who could actually just justify to the whole look. So I could not think beyond than Radhika. So I actually asked for Radhika to her team from past, I think, two months I'm asking. And Radhika, are you a princess from heart or a human of faith? Oh, I'm a complete labor. I'm not no princess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, uh, so because our theme is, uh, hello, yeah, it's uh, inspired by the J Japanese uh, aesthetics. Uh, these are uh, samurai caps. I mean, it's a take on the samurai caps. So, you know, these are like <coughs> ninja warriors. <laughs> Um, so, you know, when we've done layering because we've used so many different kinds of textiles. There's silk cotton, there's uh, cotton, there's eddy silk, there's also some denim that we've done this time. So, uh, really because, uh, unfortunately, we just get 12 looks to show. So, you know, the idea of putting a combination together, which also helps uh, maybe a probable customer to 
understand what how you can team up the government really uh, impactfully and Ask Shailesh to give me something, I guess, for <laughs> Diwali this time. <laughs> and Shailesh, you are eyeball, and uh, Khadi is uh, very connected to you. So I'm also a bomb. So what's your next uh, thought about this fabric, or are you going to work with another fabric, like Jamdani or something like that? Or you My first uh, show in Lakme was with uh, Batik. Second show was with Jamdani. Third show was with Khadi, Linen, and uh, Jamdani. Fifth show was with Gamcha. Sixth show is Khadi shootings. Seventh, I don't know. I'm still thinking. <laughs> so, uh, Bangla, obviously, Thakbe. So, connecting with the route and you will continue it? I am still to complete all the crafts on my state. I would do that by the 10th or the 11th show, probably. <laughs> Promising words to no. We're looking forward to that. Um, so thank you so much, media. Um, just a request to our designers and our showstoppers, if you could please come to the front so we could have a quick picture and then stay. <laughs> Because I have to go. I have a shoot. I have to no, no, I have, I have five minutes. Huh. Five minutes. Yeah, yeah. The whole inspiration from 1930-1940 era where Indian princesses used to travel abroad, like Gayatri Devi, Sita Devi. So they used to wear saris there with capes, jackets, and they used to carry themselves really well. So that was the whole inspiration in the story, how we want to showcase this collection to me. Uh, I could imagine her first day as a princess. She is a very good method actor. I follow her since many years. So I really wanted her to walk. Radhika, what goes on in your mind when you walk the ramp? I mean, it's not the first time you have walked her at Lakme before. Yourself, yeah. So, you know, what goes on in your mind? Clearly nothing, because <laughs> if I could think, I think I would be a little more at ease. I still, I, I want to do more of these so that I feel more comfortable and more, uh, like, at ease when I walk. I still, I don't feel like I'm completely, like, I am completely at ease when I'm in front of the camera. But on the ramp, I'm not still, I haven't yet found that. Comfort. Were you given an option to choose the uh, you know outfit uh, from this collection? For yes, I was given the option to choose the colors, and I chose yellow. Okay, so yellow being one of your favorite or? Uh, um, no, I just when I saw it, I thought yellow. I mean, I like lots of colors really. What's your personal style? Do you normally define? I just wear comfortable, simple clothes, neutral, quite neutral. So on a normal day, what what can we spot Radhika in? Just something really simple. What okay. you're probably wearing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you.